Wow! What, man? Down on my dick, do a split, ho. She throw it back up, my fuck around, pay your rent, ho. All these pussies capping by shit they don't really get. Looking for bang bros, say your grace, ho. Cause bitch is over. I had 80k, I blew that cup to Range Rover. I be swerving, switching lanes so hard, I damn near broke my shoulder. If she wanna fuck with us, I tell her, let that pin it over, huh? Hold up. Why these bro boys that can't stand me? I just hit it raw, then I made a swallow plan B. Pull out the chopper and I ain't made at your granny. Daddy. That bitch don't speak my language since she do not yeah, understand yeah. me. I was finna start this video busting a move right here like this. But I look on this and <laughs> she left. Did you see Chiaki on the screen standing next to me? Of course you didn't, bro. You always hating on me, bro. What? Good job. Welcome back. Hey, to some more dang and rumpa too. Goodbye, despair. We start this video by saying, Caleb, I saw the anime. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later, bro. We'll talk about it later. Relax, bro. All right. <sighs> All right. Let's get into this. Uh whatever whatever here go this music this is the same reason you hear me breathing hard hold up i hate this song blows what happened is there a problem fighting is not allowed you must not have heard the announcement somebody died yo it's worse than trouble there's a body huh didn't you hear me a body was found! C could it be? B -b 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 body yeah. I renounce you! Could it be? Do you intend to spread lies like Nikito in order to confuse us all? Hold it. Hold on, there, there you go, baby. Speak up. <laughs> These niggas sweating me, babe. Oh, you're sweating me too? Relax, he was... Oh, she, that's why right, she wasn't with me. Hajime, is that true? Of course it is! Isn't it obvious? You see? Chiaki, you have seen Nagito's condition, yes? This fiend just has the same symptoms as him. But still. But there's no way we shouldn't check it out. Because if Hajime is telling the truth, <gasps> that means it happened again. Right? K killing hey. If that's true, we need to check it out. Fine. If that's th that is the case, I will not stop you. Leave this to me. And you fiends go on ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no need to worry. I will catch up with you easily. Um th that sounds like famous last words. No, no 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 no. Don't play like that, Monami. Don't play like that, Monami. Chiaki, can you go? Yep. Yeah, it's better if we hurry, right? Let's get up out of here. Don't give me the option to, to push R and click off. Just run there. You what you? <laughs> oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, Hajime. Makan, why are you here? Uh, uh, Perfect timing. Please help us, Hajime. Heh, <laughs> help us? What are you talking about, girl? Hey, hey. Uh. Hajime, someone's coming from over there. Huh? Hajime and Chiaki? What are you guys doing here? Fuyahiko, why are you here too? No shit. Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for a buki. Looking for a buki? You might want to follow us to the Titty Typhoon. I was planning to rest in the on-call room, but I wanted to check on everyone before I did that. And Ibuki's missing from the hospital all of a sudden. Huh? Perhaps. So what? Why are you saying, huh, Haji? We've seen her floating in a 
Bro, we seen her pass passed away, bro. So what Hajime was saying earlier. Everyone. Let's hurry. Huh? <laughs> hurry where? To the fucking music venue. Don't ask. Just follow me. Huh? Music mu Music venue? Yes, bro. Look, I know you got one eyeball, but you still got two ears, man. Men, listen to me, bro. <laughs> Is Ibuki going to be there? Thank you. How'd you still run like he need a boo boo? Whoa, whoa. Hmm. Ibuki's missing from the hospital. Yippee. That's even more reason for us to worry. Let's not even waste time talking to Makam. She delusional. Let me in. Let me in. Great. Damn it! M my my wound hasn't completely healed yet. Don't make me run too much. Hey. Is Ibuki inside here? Thank you, Haji. Just be quiet. The only way to know is to go inside and confirm if that hanged body is really a bookie what bro we sat up here and saw it, bro i clenched my teeth and reached my hand toward the door huh huh what the heck why is it locked that doesn't make sense i mean i was able to go through here just a few minutes ago For now. then why don't we try from another entrance Nope. This is the only entrance to the music venue. There isn't even a window we can go through. Oh my gosh. But why is it locked? Hmm. I don't understand it myself, but Let's go. if it won't open, the only thing we can do is force our way through. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to be possible. Of the four of us, two of us are girls, you know? Oh, this game for sure wasn't made in 2019. I'm surprised this game even allows still 2019. I'm like, Chiaki, you can anything I can do, you can do a little, a little less. So it's what? Got nothing to do with you. If it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if you can do it or not. We have to try. Damn right. Let's go. We'll all charge at the same time. Ready, set, <laughs> go! At Fuyahiko's signal, we charged into the door at full force. Oh, the door moved! <laughs> Maybe it'll open easily after all! Yep. Yeah, even with- Okay, Ch Chiaki, come on, girl. <laughs> Tighten up, be strong. Let's go! Alright, one more time! At Fuyahiko's signal, we charged into the door one more time. And when we're inside, y'all, we're inside. It was like a live performance that just ended. That moment of silence just before the audience breaks out in thunderous applause. And a few minutes after that silence, a scream surfaced. <coughs> what did you just see? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What, man? What am I looking at, bro? This is a little girl, man. Why does she have to go and we just lost my hero? Like, shouldn't have been playing with them demons in the cafeteria. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Why did she build that? She had the she had like the the demonic goat head, all types of spirit just floating around in the kitchen looking for a plate of toast. Like, come on, man, put the flame out. You will still be here. Look at her pale face, though. You know she up there musty still. It don't matter, dead or alive, she stink. What? I'm wrong for it. The hair is freshly laid. R.I.P. <sighs> They're wasn't just a hanged body. There was also another body. 
a suspended body belonging to Hiyoko. You tell me all I had to do was play for a little bit more minutes last episode. <laughs> uh, I'm the worst when it comes to, to, to uh, what you would call. Hey, at least we all saw that and we got a whole last episode to play together still. Ain't that, ain't that lit? Y'all would have had to wait a week for an investigation. Our body has been discovered. Two bodies, Monokuma. Well then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. What if this isn't even a robot? No, 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 no. That thing I got hands. Ain't nobody. We ain't, we ain't even a no prop store. They do call a PG. You know PG always stay with some bloody props, bro. Why? PG, talk to me, bro. We're, we live together. Talk, bro. He always want to play with blood. A body has been Okay, it came on twice. Okay, okay. Wow. This is sad. Two body discovery announcements in a row. That means they both got clapped but by who? The hang body with the handbag on its head. Hyoko's suspended body. Both of these bodies have been discovered at the same time. Hiyoko and who the hell is that other one wearing the hemp bag? Could it be? Could it be two victims? But when I was here earlier, I didn't see Hiyoko's body. I only saw that hang body over there. Not even, not even ten minutes passed. But still, why? <laughs> don't, just don't play your song, bro. Just don't play your song. <laughs> what is? This impossible, 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 impossible. It's impossible for killings to happen on this island. Shut the hell up! Shut the hell up, idiot! This is just for now. We should lower that person wearing the hemp bag to the ground. Leaving it like that is just too sad. Yes. This video might get demonetized, but it's all good though. That's why I dropped that sponsor video yesterday. Just for the record, just pause the video right now. Go go over to that video, like it real quick, come back over here. Ah, <sighs> uh, but what about preserving the scene of the crime? Damn it! Who fucking cares about that? Um, Th there is a control panel for the baton lighting on the wing of the stage. You can lower the body with that. <clears throat> that one. Fuyihiko ran over to the wing of the stage and pressed a button on the control panel. With the motorized sound like the growl of a starving beast, the baton lighting slowly descended. When it descended enough for us to reach it, we all worked together to lower the body. Now, I'm going to take off the hemp bag, okay? Even though I expected it, I still didn't want to confront that reality. Under the hemp bag, there was no denying that the face I saw belonged to Ibuki. Damn it! Damn it! It's all my fault. If only I did a better job watching over Ibuki. Makan, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Why did this happen after you decided to go get some sleep? No, 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 look, 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 I'm gonna stall you out, I'm gonna stall you out, I'm gonna stall you out, because you have been taking excellent care up to that point of complete exertion and, uh, and famishment, fatiguement. But then we immediately get that call from, uh, from Ibuki. Puyihiko, where was you at? Who else, who else is missing? We ain't heard from Nekamaru, boo boo ass. Where Nekamaru at? <laughs> You're wrong. It's not your fault, Makan. No matter how we feel, the one at fault is. What's the matter? Jeez! It feels like someone died in here or something. Hey! So you finally showed up! The root of all evil! What the heck? How dare 
you call your big brother the root of all evil? I even went to the trouble of bringing everyone for you. Bringing everyone. <gasps> At least it's not that other one. That other one looked a lot worse, I think. Are you kidding me? Is that the one or I don't know. He's, uh, this artist is nuts. Ibuki and Hiyoko? What? So two people have been killed! What? Whoa there. That's not all. I've also summoned the others who were at the hospital. The others? This is troubling. Looks like another serious incident occurred while I was unaware. D damn it! Okay, so they're back to normal. I, I, I can't believe. They did such a horrible thing! Nagito, Akane, are you okay? Huh? Huh? Of course. <laughs> what do you mean, of course? No way! Are you talking about the despair disease? Jeez, you guys, that stuff is totally over now. Hey. He said it was just a motive to get people killing. <laughs> yeah, because I got bored. That's... For that silly reason? <laughs> and now the killing has started. There's no need to keep that motive around anymore. Yeah, that despair disease is gone now, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. What'd you say? What? What the heck? That's impossible. How can you spread a disease and cure it so easily? Phew. Um, who cares about the itty bitty details? What matters is that it's already been cured. Yeah. Look at little Hayoko back there, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. So, let's get back to our main topic and proceed as usual. It's the Monokuma file! See ya later! <laughs> I'll be waiting at the class trial. Do your best to investigate. This cannot be. Again? We have to do this again. Silence. We have no choice. Like last time. If this means one of us killed these two, let me tell you then this. We cannot let this be. <laughs> Why do we have to do this? Damn it. Thinking like that won't do anything. We have to do this. Damn it. If we don't do anything, we'll all be executed. <laughs> Abandon your overdependence and complaints this instant. Those have no place in this world. But, but what about Nekamaru? What's gonna happen to him? Is he not going to participate this time? Is that even allowed? <laughs> I, bro, I was really sitting up here thinking, who was over here doing that nasty ass open mouth tongue out crying? <laughs> Huh? That's weird. That's strange. I'm crying. What happened to me? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like lingering after effects of the despair disease. It's nothing for you to worry about. Hey. Hey, are you okay? Yep. Fortunately, it seems like I have nothing to worry about. This is bad. Since you had the liar disease, your after effects could be lies. Maybe. Leave it to me. Please leave Nekomaru to me. Everyone must focus on investigating, so I must do my very best. Alrighty. Alrighty. I will definitely bring back Nekomaru and win everyone's trust. Um. It seems we should leave Nekomaru to Monami. What about guarding this area? Do we still need it? Damn it. I'll stay. I still don't feel good yet. Um, um, it's better if I stay here too, right? I should perform the autopsy again, right? Damn right. Then I'll leave that to you. Um, then let's get started so we can end this nightmare for good. That's right. We need to end this. We need to finish this once and for all. 
And I know there's a, no way we can believe that one of us did this. But for those two's sake, we need to find the truth. And then we need to end this nightmare once and for all. Huh? Like, I've been putting up with this for a while. Hey! But why is it so damn hot in here? I hate being hot! It's because your clothes are all so smothering. What is that, rubber? Take that shit off, bro. Ah, I seriously can't stand it. I'll, I'll let you guys investigate this place. And so, Kazuchi left the music venue under a cloud of rumbling complaints. But it is really hot. In fact, it's sweltering hot. Why is it this hot? No, no, no. Before that, I need to check the Monokuma file first. Let's check it. There are two victims this time, Ibuki Miyoda and Hiyoki Sa Sayonji. Ibuki Miyoda's cause of death was a crushed windpipe as a result of choking. There are no other external injuries. Hiyoko Sayonji's cause of death was blood loss due to her throat being slit by a sharp-edged tool. Oh my gosh, who did this to this little child who can't even... Like, come on man, she can't even put on her clothes. Wash her pits. It appears her death was instant. What the? Is this it? I mean, I already knew the cause of death in the beginning, so this isn't going to be a useful clue. Are you sure? Hmm. It's strange. Why did the killer kill two people? Huh? I mean, the more people you kill, the more clues you'll leave, right? So... So, I don't think it's really necessary to kill two people and take that kind of risk. I agree with that. Mm. Or was there a reason that they had... that they had to kill two people? Oh, I'm, I'm reading this like Floyd Mayweather. Or was there a reason that they had to kill two people? Oh, like one of them walked in on them or something like that? A reason for killing two people? Regardless, something like this shouldn't be forgiven, so... I'll definitely find out. Okay. I think... That's why I'm here, to reassure you. It's not that, it's not you think, it's you will, it's not... I think, like, whenever, an, like, it was one time, I saw an adult talking with my friend, complimenting my friend. This is probably elementary school. And the kid, the, 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 the mom is like, you did really good on your, on your multiplication. I see you've been studying. And the kid was like, thanks, you know, I try. And then she was like, no, you succeed. I still remember that. She wasn't even talking to me. I was still failing my shit. Every week I would, I could not get past nines and, uh, nines and elevens. But I remember one week I finally got it and they took me to McDonald's. Ugh. I think I was like in the third grade. Ugh, I finally got my multiplication. Ugh. Give me everything on the menu. I want two McDoubles, three large fries, sugar cookies to match. Seriously, I'd really prefer if she had a more confident sounding catchphrase. It's the rope that was tied to the baton lighting on the ceiling. Ibuki hanged herself with this rope and died. Hmm. From what I can tell, it looks like a regular length of rope with no unnatural features. But despite the fact that this music venue has a storage room, there shouldn't have been any rope in there. Which means, was it obtained from the supermarket? Did the killer bring it from there? Well, that means anybody could have obtained this rope. And it means it'd be difficult to use this as a clue. <laughs> I wonder if that's true. Huh? Oh, I just noticed a little something. Is it okay if I confirm it? Hey! Excuse me, Makan! Do you have a moment? Uh, um, what's happened? Um... There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by this rope, right? Well... Yes, she had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. I see. I see, I see. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. That was obvious the moment we discovered the body. 
You might not have seen it, but we all saw that she hanged herself. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yep. I got it. <laughs> so this rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search another place. Jeez, as usual, I have no idea what he's up to. Maybe he's trying to say that everybody could have bought it, but not everybody could have made that loop? But I'm trying to think back, who was ever talking about tying knots? I want to say Nikamaru, but I, I don't know that for sure. Why Monome face on it, bro? That's from the movie theater. Nagi was the only one who watched the movie. But no, 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 no. Wait. Okay, let's keep going. Bro. Ibuki had a hemp bag on her head and was hanging from the ceiling. But why did she have a hemp bag on her head? Wait, huh? That hemp bag. Upon further inspection, there's a Monomi decal on the fabric. It looks like this isn't just a normal bag. Bro, you don't remember that from the... <laughs> There's a massive candle position near the front of the stage. The dull light in that video must have been coming from this candle. A candle this huge might be perfect for lighting, but they didn't need to bother using a candle. They could have just used the normal stage lighting. That's from that's from Mon uh Bro, that's from Hiyoko Demonic uh Demonic sacrifice she had in the kitchen, bro! Ibuki's body lay atop the stage. She's wearing the hospital gown she was wearing when she was sick. Hmm? What's this on Ibuki's feet? I didn't notice when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. Yeah, with blood, bro! It's blood, right? There shouldn't be any external injuries on Ibuki. If that's the case, this blood... This trial is about to be nuts, bro. I'm sitting here thinking like, wow, we really got to figure this out using all of these clues. That's Loki, this investigation and then trial is, hey, I'm sure it's everybody's favorite part of the game. Alright, Blood on the Souls has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Damn right. Hey, Hajime, can I talk to you for a sec? You already discovered the body before you met up with us, right? Yeah. At first, I didn't know it was Ubuki because of that hemp bag, though. But I knew right away she was dead since she was hanging from that rope. <clears throat> like... Which means Ibuki must have died before Hiyoko was tied up. Well... That helps. There's no time of death written in the Monokuma file this time. So I wasn't really sure who died first. True, their estimated time of death wasn't written in the Monokuma file this time. But I should know when Ibuki died because, I mean, I personally saw it. In that video, Ibuki was climbing the stepladder on her own. So right after that... Wait, hold on. If Ibuki climbed that stepladder and died right after, does that mean she committed suicide? No. That's impossible, because even if Ibuki committed suicide, it doesn't explain Hiyoko's death afterward. Two different deaths happen at the same time. There's no way that's a coincidence. Bro. Is Haji stupid? With her arms crossed and a thoughtful look on her face, Shiaki was silently staring at the stage floor. Did something drop on the floor, baby, sweetheart? Nothing dropped. It's just dirty. Dirty. Hey, hey. See, take a close look at the floor. See? If you look closely, you're right. There's a smudge as if something was wiped off. Wait, this isn't something. Is this a blood stain? Yep. Well, a blood stain isn't strange. Hiyoko's neck was slashed, not far from here. But still... Rather, what's strange is... Why did the killer try to hide it? Hide it? So... If they weren't trying to hide it, they wouldn't have been bothered wiping it off. 
the reason the killer wiped off the blood stain. As long as the body is nearby, there's no way they'd be able to conceal the crime by wiping off a blood stain. A blood stain. So, what was the killer trying to hide? Hmm. You know, I hate to think that Ibuki killed this little girl and then... Or like, maybe the videotape was... Maybe the videotape was from the movie theater showing that same scene that we saw on the... I don't know, bro. Hiyoki's body is suspended again. Oh, we gotta see that movie. Hiyoko's body is suspended against the pillar on the side of the stage. She's wrapped against the pillar with duct tape. And she looks like she was forced to stand upright. Damn it. Who did this? According to the Monokuma file, her cause of death was a slit throat. Her neck looks like it stopped bleeding. Probably because of the duct tape wrapped around it. But why is Hiyoko's kimono like this? Her kimono is all disheveled. Also, her sash is tied in the front. Did the killer do this too? But when did the killer kill Hiyoko? When I first discovered Ibuki's body, I didn't see Hiyoko's body here. If that's the case, Hiyoko was killed. It must have been during the time I was getting everyone before I came back here. That was barely 10 minutes. Is it really possible that the killer killed Hiyoko and taped her up in such a short amount of time? Even if it is possible, whoever did it would have had a narrow window of time to do so. Because the killer must have been someone who doesn't have an alibi during that time. Right? Hey! Hey, Hajime! Do you have a minute? It's gotta be Fuyuhiko or... Fuyu... No, 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 not Fuyuhiko, sorry. Nekamaru, it's gotta be Nekamaru. Yo, no, you're in the way, man. Now, now. I don't wish to be in your way at all. But there's something I really need your help with. Help? Actually... If you look closely, there's an unnatural shape bulging from inside Hiyoko's kimono. So... I was thinking she might be hiding something. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me you want to search inside Hiyoko's kimono. Huh? Huh? That's exactly it. Why? Well, it, it would have been a problem if she were alive. But she's dead now, you know? Don't mess with me. Are you saying there's no problem with that now that she's dead? <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine. If you don't want to do it, I'll just have to ask someone else. Hey! Hey, Akane! Yo! <laughs> Yo, what's up? Hey. Well, there's something I want you to do for me. It looks like there's something inside Hiyoko's kimono. So, can you feel around for that? What? I don't really understand, but I just gotta check Hiyoko's kimono, right? Thanks. Thank you, Akane! Helping each other is such a wonderful thing! Now then. Hmm. Let's see. Akane reached through the duct tape, binding Hiyoko as she stuck her hand inside her kimono. That's weird. Damn it. She's tied up so tight, I can't really reach with my hand. Try with your... Oh, wait, hold on. Yo! There's something. Is this what you were looking for? Why did I tell her to try with her breasts? Like, what are you talking about? That don't even make no sense. Try with her bosom, like... Bro. Bro, I'm in a drought, bro. <laughs> Is this a key? Perhaps. It looks different than the keys to the cottage. So this may be the key to her motel room. That's hilarious. The key to her motel room, huh? But... If her key was so deep inside her kimono that it'd be hard to remove then it's very unlikely that the killer tampered with this evidence. Isn't that right? Because if this is a trap, they would have put it more toward the front of her kimono so we'd notice it earlier, or easier. Which means we can conclude that this is something Hiyoko had with her all along. Yeah, she would not let anybody get close to that motel key, as scary as she was. Also, 
It's not like I'm adding to that or anything. But you look like you were curious about the condition of Hyoko's body. Right, Hajime? Of course. That's why I'm investigating, dumbass. Hmm. It's true. Sorry, it's true. There are several mysteries regarding her body. Well, well, just hear me out for a second. Out of all those mysteries, what I think is the strangest is... See? The way they wrapped her body with that duct tape. It's almost like they were trying to hide the wound on Hyoko's neck. Don't you think? Hide the wound on her neck. <laughs> I don't really know if that was their true intention. But I guess it's a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low volume of blood is because the duct tape is acting as a compress, right? <laughs> if her body was left alone after her throat was slit, the surrounding area would be a sea of blood. Oh, oh. So if I just go like this, <laughs> like no, bro, I don't want to see that either. A sea of blood, huh? PG would though. We already know you. Look at PG. PG probably editing like this right now. Take off the duct tape. Like no, bro. Leave that on your channel. Physical gamers. Physical bloody gamers. Two dead bodies floating in a sea of blood. That's enough to make any physical blood cell gamers. <laughs> That's disgusting. Physical blood cell gamers. Ah, <laughs> uh, the step ladder is tipped over on its side. This must be for the step ladder that Ibuki used in the video I saw. She could have easily just climbed right back down though. Ah, uh, isn't that a blood stain? Look, there's a blood around the left side of the step ladder. As I recall. Ibuki didn't have any external injuries. If that's the case, then it must be Hyoko's blood. Yep. That's the only thing I can think of. A blood stain that probably belongs to Hyoko is on the left side of the stepladder. What does this mean? Are we done here? Are we done mm -hmm. here? Oh gosh. There's a black curtain hanging at the far side of the stage. This curtain, it's not wide enough. It can't reach from one side of the stage to the other. Huh? It's not really a full length curtain. This curtain wasn't originally here, right? If it was, it's strange that it doesn't fit properly. Hmm. It was probably obtained from the furniture section of the supermarket. See, the back of the curtain is taped for temporary use. Just like the curtain at the supermarket. So you're saying someone took the time to actually bring that curtain from the supermarket. So... If they went that far, this was probably something that the killer really needed for this crime. Why did they need it? Hmm. Who knows? Well, it wouldn't be a mystery if the answer came easy, so... That old baton lighting control. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is like a church organ. Bro, why are all the organ players in churches? On parole. I'm just saying, bro. Bro, why are y'all all getting thrown in jail? It's either the drummer, the organ player, or a deacon. Y'all all be on parole, bro. Ex felons giving their life up to the Lord. I'm not mad at it. But who knew they had organs in prison? I'm just saying, there's a control panel on the wing of the stage. It seems you can use this control panel to raise and lower the baton lighting on the ceiling. In fact, we use this to lower Ibuki's hanged body. I'm talking about black churches too. Some of y'all, some of my white, Asian, Hispanic subscribers probably like, Perot, what church you go to? All my black subscribers, y'all know what's up. Kojic, Baptist, it don't matter, bro. Speaking of the lighting, the video of the music venue I saw. <laughs> it had a dim candlelight ambience to it. And it didn't look like this lighting was used at all. But why didn't they use this lighting? Was there some reason that would have inconvenienced them? So you have appeared. I see. So you noticed two feet. Huh? Noticed? 
so you didn't notice? <laughs> Are those eyes just for just little glass balls? Take a good look at the baton lighting above your head. Have you not noticed that aberrant item? Look at the baton lighting. You mean that? I mean, there's something that looks like black pepper stuck to the baton light. What the fuck is that? <laughs> so you finally noticed. But I can't really see it from here. I should lower the baton lighting one more time and... I can see it! <laughs> there is no need. Go, my four dark devas of destruction! Go! Mirage Golden Hawk Jumpy! Now is the time for you to take flight! <laughs> Feast your eyes upon the brave souls of my four dark divas of destruction! Man, make it make it look cool, man. This could be the thumbnail. And this, of course, it's text only. Let me see a picture! A hamster launched itself from Gundam's hand and ran up to the baton lighting on the ceiling in a flash. Let me get a picture real quick. That's not what I'm talking about, bro. It started running around the, st the stuck slip of paper in rapid circles. And then, the paper fluttered downward and was deftly caught by Gundam. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Behold the power of the ultimate evil eye wielder! Wow. Hey, hey, Kazuchi, watch your chick, bro. Watch your chick, Kazuchi. Wow! That is amazing! I have never seen a hamster do tricks! How pitiful. They're my four dark divas of destruction! Hamsters are merely the temporary form. So what's with the paper, bro? Fine. Hmm. It seems to be some kind of thick paper, though it does not have any special spell scribed onto it. That was close. <laughs> it appears it's nothing useful. No, bro, that's not it. There's no doubt. This is some kind of clue. I mean, the fact that it was stuck in a place like that, no matter how we think about it, is too unnatural. A scrap of thick paper has been added to the truth bullet section of your hand. <gasps> um. Okay, what is that? Thermometer? Okay, nice. This looks like the music venue's AC unit. 86 degrees? Hell nah. That's right. You might be able to adjust the hot air in the music venue. <laughs> with this. Sorry, I'm just ate dinner. Alright. I should mess around with it a little, like so. Yo, it's running as a heater, over 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I know why it's so damn hot. I better turn off the heater for now. That should cool things off a little. Um... Can we talk to her or what? Hi. Okay. Yep. Let's do. All right, all right. I'm, I'm gonna try and end this combo now. So, nice. All right. Uh, broken machine. Let's take a look at this. The shattered remains of a machine are spread all over the floor. Oh, that's the uh, that's the walkie-talkie. I see. I see. This appears to be the surveillance camera unit. This too must be the will of Kazawa. Can I talk? Kaizushi put it in the music venue for communication purposes. <laughs> Why is it destroyed like this? Um... Perhaps criminal psychology is at play here. Yo, what do you mean? Well... Even if they know they are not being recorded, there is no way the killer would tolerate committing a murder in front of a camera. Fine. So that's why they destroyed the camera. <laughs> Seems plausible enough. You know, they'd hesitate to murder someone in front of a camera. And that's why the killer destroyed this? Then... What was that thing I saw? I'm telling you, I think that was filmed from the movie. Unless he, unless somebody found a third one of these, and, this, and that's part of the trap, and that what my that honestly might make Kaizushi... That nigga ran! My knees hurt. These kids just got excellent knees. That's because they don't drink no ho no cow's milk. They tell you they tell you drink cow's milk for strong bones. That shit weaken my shit. 
<laughs> Did you direct your gaze to the brave stature of my four dark thieves of destruction? Bro. Did we talk to you already, Sonya? Something like this. No, no, no. Two of my cherished friends died at the same time. I cannot believe it. How cruel. This is the place where Ibuki sang for Fuyuhiko. Hiyoko looked like she was having so much fun listening to her music. Uh. And now those two are no longer here. Ah, such a tragedy. I understand how you feel, but please get a hold of yourself. Two of our friends were killed. That's all the more reason why we can't just leave this alone, right? So just as I thought. We must do this then, for the sake of the two who have fallen. You'll be alright. Tighten up, you'll be alright. <laughs> if only I had known it sooner, the boogie would have been saved. Hey. When did you realize Ibuki was missing? Um, after leaving Nagito's room, and I went to the on-call room, and this when it came to me! That I should go check on how everyone in the hospital is doing one more time before I go to sleep. <laughs> and so, I went to the patient rooms and noticed that the boogie was gone. So, so, sorry. So, I quickly ran out of the hospital. So that's what happened. <laughs> and then, I saw Fuyuhiko in front of the hospital, so I asked him if he could help me look for a boogie. <laughs> huh? That reminds me, where were you? I thought you were resting in the lobby. That... That is a long story. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not like I doubt you or anything. <laughs> There's no way I doubt you because we've been together since this morning. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're talking about when they woke up together. Okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. That's right. We were together until just a little before the morning Monokuma announcement. So, so I don't doubt you. I'm telling the truth. Um, is it alright if I continue with my autopsy? If you talk to me later again, I'll, I'll tell you what I know. So please spare my life at least! Damn, she think I'm a killer. Right? <laughs> what happened? They're not doubting me. Alright. I'm good on stage. I'm good, I'm good on Gundam. I'm good on Gundam. Hey, are you okay? Are you still not feeling well? Huh? Yeah, I don't really get it, but when I think about Nekamaru, it's like... My knees start shaking. That's weird. It's weird. There's no way I've got that kind of weakness. It'll probably go away if I battle the strong dude, but Nekamaru is not here. Nekamaru will definitely come back. You. You're right. Is she? Hajime. Yeah, I mean, am I? Hajime, this might be important for me to ask, but will you listen to what I have to say? Hey. I heard that you witnessed the incident from the very beginning, right? So what, dude? <laughs> Can you provide me with a summary of the incident? I need to reach the truth behind this incident for the sake of dedicating my body to an even greater hope. No. Wow. Why? Don't make me repeat myself. No. This guy just wants to confuse us. There's no way I'm going to tell him what he wants to know. How unfortunate. I see. It's disappointing. Nagito's kind of right. came through every time. Now I'm sitting here thinking about it. Hey, Hajime. Take a look at this. Hmm? What? Huh? Look what's in front of the door. This is a drumstick, right? And it looks like it's broken. What happened to it? Like... 
if something like that is in front of the door, <laughs> you think it might be a really big clue? Why would this be a clue? Why wouldn't it, hey. Haji? Remember when we came to the music venue? If it won't open, the only thing we can do is... Oh, that was used to lock the door. Wow. Yep, 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 yep. I see, I see where you're going with this. I see where you're headed with this. The door was locked when we tried to go inside and the four of us charged into the door. <laughs> but when I examined it, I found out that this door doesn't have a lock at all. Huh? I get it. The door is, de is designed to be pushed open. And this is the shape of the handle. If a stick was used to bar the door here, <laughs> well, don't you think it would lock the door and keep it from opening? You mean, you think this drumstick was used to lock the door? <laughs> the broken drumstick on the floor in front of the door should be proof of that. Then, how was the killer able to get out? Huh? I really think Ibuki faked that, faked that shit. Somebody told her, okay, stop, come back down the stairs. But what about Hioko? Where was she at if this is the only way in and out? I mean, I mean, and who would be telling her to do that? Hioko herself? What kind of weird Bro, them demons in the kitchen, bro! I mean, the music venue doesn't even have windows. This door is the only entrance. If they locked the door from the inside, the killer wouldn't be able to escape outside. Like... Maybe. The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue and they waited until we were already at the scene of the crime to join us. I get it. You know, don't they use tricks like that a lot in mystery dramas and stuff? <laughs> if that's the case, there might be evidence of that around here somewhere. Damn it. All right, I'm definitely gonna find it. I won't let the killer get away with this. The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue, huh? Like he said, that might be possible, but... I've listened to the whole story. Chiaki. That was a kind of cook. Hold up, you trying to make me horny a little bit. Hold up. Well? Besides, besides the broken drumstick, I've also discovered something interesting. What is it? See? Look, there's a weird glob right where the right and left door touch. See? You're right. What is this? Booger juice? Shrek blood? Uh, goosebumps? Bro, y'all remember that? Bro, none y'all. Y'all don't even remember. I'm not even finna bring up the show because I know y'all don't remember. But I'ma describe it because I don't. I don't remember the name of the show. It was a group of four kids, four or six kids, back on the end, Nickelodeon's Teen Teen Network, the end. It had to do with typewriting. They were, they were all like writers, and they would write. Stories, but there was one story a kid had wrote where they was fighting a purple sludge monster. Now I want you to tell me if you know what I'm talking about. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't look like rubber, but as she said that, Shiaki bent down, scraped off the semi-transparent glob with her finger. <laughs> Come on, Shiaki. Why are you putting that in your mouth? I wonder. Uh, it smells like workshop chemicals. Workshop? And this chewiness. I see. This thing may be a glob now, but that doesn't mean it was a glob from the start. For instance, if it was originally a liquid that had hardened into this, it might be possible to apply it directly and smoothly in the gaps of the door. Yo, Haji, let her talk, bro. <laughs> Just as I thought. It tastes nasty. Chiaki spat the glob out of her mouth and left the area. Besides that bit about the taste, it's okay to consider this some kind of clue, right? A flubber? Some flubber weber juice? Alright, well, I'm, I'm, I'm looking around, you know what I mean? Oh, there's a whole back door right here. What the heck? There's a door that says staff only. Looks like the inside is a storage room. I might as well investigate in here too. 
Bro. Bro, why are you in here, bro? Nagito, did you come here to investigate the storage room too? <laughs> and I just wanted to confirm what you were... I just wanted to confirm what you were thinking. Is that it? Or is he trying to stand guard here? Hey. So how about it? Did you find any clues? The tipped over stepladder on the stage? The duct tape binding Hyoko? That probably all came from the storage room. There might be other things from the storage room that they used for the crime. You always pretend to give me hints, but in the end, you're just gonna be on a killer side. Huh? Huh? <laughs> no. I'm not siding with the killer, you know. I'm just on the side of whoever acts in the name of hope. That's all there is to it. What? That's the main reason why this case is really special. I gotta pass some gas. Hold on. Whew. Huh? Man. <laughs> bro, it's nothing but chicken and rice over here, bro. Big body over here, bro. But I can't say for certain though. What is this guy saying? As usual, he's not making any sense. Hajime. By the way, Hajime. I still don't quite understand the details of what happened. Right? Hey, if you can explain it to me in detail, I think I'd be able to give you some more useful information. Really? You might end up confusing us again instead. You don't want to find the truth. You just want to make us suffer. How mean. That's not true. I'm doing this because I believe it's for everyone's sake. Oh, well. For the sake of everyone's hope, I'd gladly become the enemy. And I won't even mind when I die. Damn it. That's the main reason why I can't overlook this case this time. You good? What does that mean? Regardless, I guess you're not going to tell me, huh? Then it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Bro, this needs to be a decision-based game. I'm about to tell Nagito everything, bro. You don't even know that much, Haji. What are you mad for? Gut feelings? Hey. You should come by later, too. And I'll go there first and wait for you. He's talking about the movie theater. Where exactly are you talking about? <laughs> Well, obviously, the movie theater. After he said that, Nikito walked out of my sight. Movie theater? Why the sudden interest in a movie theater? Alright, let's get it going. You can see your whole body in this huge, full-length mirror. It's probably used for checking costumes. With the mirror this big, it'd be easy to check how you look. Musical instruments. There's a lot of different musical instruments lined up here. I know about guitars and drums, but there are also instruments and machines that I've never seen before. They go a banjo. Shout out Banjo Kazooie. I need you to drop in Super Smash Bros. yesterday, bro. We need more characters. But they don't look like they pertain to the case. There's a lot of stickers with the venue's logo placed here. It's like they made a bunch of them and had too many left over. It feels somewhat depressing. Uh, compared to the last time, it feels like there are a lot less stickers than before. Am I overthinking this? I never came in here, I don't think. I can't remember at least. There's carpeting, wallpaper, and paint on the shelf. It's probably used for stage decorations. This thick black paper that was oh that looked like ooh ooh that was so, that was what was throwing up on the baton lighting. There are a lot of stickers pasted all over the front side of this wallpaper, and this edge of the wallpaper looks a little torn. But what does this mean? Um, I guess it's everything important in this storage room. I should go back. We gotta hit that movie theater right now. Somebody talk to me so I can hear you hear you out, and then I'm out. Hello, anybody? Hello? All right. With this, we might be close to finished investigating the music venue. But I still need to talk to Makan. I need to make sure I get those autopsy results from him. Come here, girl. 
How about it, Makan? Have you found out anything by now? <laughs> to tell you the truth, it's been very inconclusive. You got it wrong! But it's not my fault. This music venue is just too hot. Because of the heat, I can't estimate the time of death. Because of the heat? Is that possible? <laughs> if a body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine a precise time of death. Is that true? Is that, I see. That might have been the killer's goal. So if somebody busts bust in my house and I want to take him out, but don't want to get caught, throw him in the freezer, or the oven. I asked that question for PG. Y'all know PG want to know that. They covered up their time of death by using the heater to make the inside of the music venue hot. But it's weird. But even if this heat is the killer's doing, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? I agree. As long as I saw it, it should be clear what other what order the murders occurred. First was Ibuki, then Hiyoko. And as long as this is an imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistaking the order of the murders. Huh? Imitation murder? Huh? Huh? You don't know, Hajime? I thought everyone already knew. See? It's a murder where the killer uses a creative work, like a song or a film, as an outline for their killings. It's so common in detective novels, mag manga mangas, and video games that you start to get annoyed by it. How would an imitation murder be related to this murder? <laughs> well, based on the killing order and the way that they were killed, it's clearly an imitation of that movie. That movie? Good instinct. The assumption is an imitation murder is the reason why the killer killed two people. Hmm. The goal was an imitation killer. Even so, why did they feel the need to do something like that? Do you have a minute? Excuse me, if this was really an imitation of that movie, then it, is it possible that one more person might have been killed? This too must be the will of causality. But Haji didn't want to watch the movie, and here we are looking stupid. It's certainly conceivable. If the killer wishes to complete the imitation. <laughs> Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? An imitation murder? One more person might have been killed? <laughs> are you guys worried that there's gonna be another victim? Then no worries! Things would get out of hand too fast if a bunch of people could be killed at once! I'm a real cautious fella, so I prepared a perfect countermeasure. Hmm. <laughs> On this killing school trip, the same blackie can only kill a maximum of two people. Huh? You mean you've added another rule? Yeah. Well, if killing everyone at once is okay, the blackie would be able to secure an easy victory, right? Facts, 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 facts. This facts, this facts. Yeah. <laughs> this new rule will prevent that. Make sure you slam it into your tiny brains. Um. If it is a maximum of two people, then there will not be any more killings? Mm. Since you're here anyway, can I ask you one more thing? You know, I just want to confirm one of the class trial rules. Mm, I see, I see. As expected of you, you're very strict about games. Perhaps. I don't want to consider... <clears throat> I don't want to consider this a possibility at all. And I don't even want to think someone would do this. If two cases occur at once, what happens if there are two killers? Huh? So... Like I said, I'm talking about the possibility that Ibuki and Hiyoko were killed by two different people. That would mean that two killers exist at the same time, but we can only vote for one person, right? I am concerned. If we can only choose one based on a majority vote, the other person could certainly achieve victory. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. See? So what happens in that case? What about a case where there's three incidents instead of two? Or, or four incidents overlap one another? Silence! Shut up! 
shut up! It's okay! Now make extra sure something like that never happens! Okay. Meaning, two killers can't exist at the same time. So it's safe to say that applies to this case too. Right? Wow! Alright, fine! Fine! That's right, there's always only one killer at any given time. Even if they had an accomplice, I'd have figured you out. I'd have you figure out who the mastermind is. Man, I ended up giving you a huge hint. She made me say it. Gamer brains are not to be underestimated. Uh, I should have just shut up and go back to my cave. I see. So there's no possibility for two killers to exist at the same time. With this, I guess that narrows things down a little. Yep. Yep. That makes things a little easier. Five. Plus, if the same killer can kill a maximum of two people... Face your powerlessness! It means a third victim would be impossible. Imitation murder breakthrough. You guys keep saying that and it sounds strange to me. What do you guys mean by imitation? Um, uh, could it be? You haven't seen it. Seen it? Seriously, seen... So... Like I said, that movie... Oh my! When we first explored this island, Monokuma was passing out invitation tickets. And the imitation is... Good instinct. Of course, it's an imitation of that movie. Well? Well, based on the murders this time, it closely resembles that movie. As if they were copying it. As if they copied the movie. I see. Nikito mentioned something about that. Then it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Gut feelings? You should come by later too. I'll go there first and wait for you. I see. So you haven't seen it. Still, it's not too late. And I think. It's probably a good idea if you watch that move before the class trial starts. Looks like I need to do that. Um... Then I should get going too. There are other places I want to investigate. Um... Where do you intend to go next, Chiaki? Hmm... Probably the hospital, for sure. The first victim, Ibuki, was there. I don't know what was going on at the hospital in the first place. You are right. Thanks to that despair disease, we could not go there for some time. She's right. It might be good for me to investigate the hospital too. There might be some clues related to Ibuki's death. For clues related to Hiyoko's death, I should try going over to the motel. There's still a lot of things I can do before the class trial. I'll definitely give it my all until the end. Alright you all, I think I'm going to end the video right there. We've already been going for an hour and 15. So check this out, PG is currently back in... I don't even know where this dude is from. <laughs> I know where he's from, but I'd be forgetting bro, there's so many P states. He's back at home, visiting family, he brought his laptop, so I'm going to probably end the video right here at the hour mark. But I will have three dangins this week, so it'll probably be the rest of the investigation um, when I see you again, and then the first part of the class trial if we end up finishing the investigation. I'm plans to finish it. I'm actually recording this right now at started at one in the morning, 1:30 in the morning. So um, yeah, love y'all. Have no problem doing that. I'd rather get this video up for y'all and stay consistent than just go to bed because it's late. That being said, if you are enjoying this playthrough and want to see it continue, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new and turn on that post notification bell so you know when I'm posting more vids. That being said, I love y'all. Yes. All y'all. That's my new shit. I love y'all. Yes. All y'all. That's my new shit. That's my new shit. I'm just feeling that more. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.